Welcome, everyone. It's a beautiful fall afternoon. Branson, Missouri. We are at Silver Dollar City. Come join us. If you're new to the channel, we are the Ides of March Adventures. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate it. The day we're here is Columbus Day, but since Columbus has been canceled, for reasons, it's now Indigenous Peoples Day, or as they say in Cleveland, Guardians Day. And we were thinking about getting this tasting passport for $35. You get five samples of food. And what is Santa Claus doing? It looks like he is trying to construct a new sleigh. Please bow down to the great pumpkin tree. It's October and Silver Dollar City is celebrating pumpkins in the city and there were pumpkins everywhere. It's also Harvest Fest. So people are selling their witchcraft everywhere. Last time I was here, someone yelled at me for filming. So I'm being kind of careful. They don't like any promotions, apparently. We did decide to buy the tasting passport with our season pass discount. It ended up being $30. So it would be $6 per item we got. They're already setting up for Christmas. That will be a Christmas light tunnel in just a few weeks. The park was relatively crowded, but it was pretty spread out. So we didn't feel like the crowd was too intense in most places. We're currently walking through Midtown, where a big chunk of the Christmas lights will be, and we are looking for our first skillet. Where's that no good blacksmith Emmett Brown? The pumpkin lights are set up. They look cool during the day but they will be much cooler at night. We located the place where you can get the harvest skillet, which was on the tasting passport. So we got two of those. And unfortunately, the portion size on these were very, very small. They were very good. They had ham, potatoes, and a bunch of vegetables, but I think I was done with this in about six bites, in about two minutes. So unfortunately, it didn't fill me up at all. Do you think Silver Dollar City has a farm somewhere where they grow their own pumpkins? I mean, they have to, right? We are heading over to the Grand Exposition where a majority of the pumpkin decorations are, and we are gonna walk over to see them. First, we see a little pumpkin house with today's inflation. That's $247,000. And then we stumbled upon Barry Brown, who was giving a demonstration on how to carve pumpkins. He is a master pumpkin carver, and we did get some pretty good tips. Put the pumpkin in your lap, and always carve going down through the bottom of the pumpkin, not the top. And he was basically trying to sell his book and a bunch of his tools as well but we enjoyed it. We thought it was uh, very informative. I haven't carved a pumpkin in several years, but this demonstration actually made me want to carve a pumpkin. So whatever he was doing, it worked on me. It also worked on my mom because she bought one of his books. So kudos to Barry Brown. I believe Silver Dollar City started doing their pumpkins in the city around 2018. Don't fact check me on that, but I think that's what I heard. This is the second time I've seen it. Second time I've seen this giant pumpkin man. And the second time I'm gonna see the Grand Exposition all pumpkined out. This is a pretty popular area of the park. There were a lot of people. Oh, those swings make me sick just looking at it. Pumpkin spider. Pumpkin owl. I think Silver Dollar City needs to reunite Technotronic to play Pumpkin Up the Jam while your feet are jumping and the jam is pumpkin in the amphitheater. That would be cool. Then we stop by another theater to watch this lady.
apologize. I cannot remember that lady's name. I think it was Peggy or Patty, but I'm not sure. But that was a knee slapper or what the kids call today a bop. Maybe they call it a banger. I don't know. But there is a pumpkin glass blower, all kinds of pumpkin craftsmen, including this one. It's either a blacksmith or it's Thor, the god of thunder. I'm not sure. I'm going to go with Thor. Pumpkin dog. There was a zero minute wait for Mystic River Falls. Now again, it was really nice and pretty warm, maybe low 70s, but it was not warm enough to be going on Mystic River Falls. Now, I came four years ago and rode Mystic River Falls when it was like 45 degrees, so I can't talk, but the people here today I thought were crazy because the temperature was gonna drop pretty low tonight, and here they come. Hopefully they didn't get too wet. Now I've been to Silver Dollar City at least 25 times in my life, but I have never had the cinnamon bread. I've had lots of cinnamon rolls, lots of other food, but never the cinnamon bread, and it lived up to the hype. It was about $10, it was so delicious, it was better than watching a binge of Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad while drinking an ice cold Mountain Dew. I needed a cigarette after this, I was so satisfied. But unfortunately they didn't have Mountain Dew here, they only had Mountain Cookies. But it didn't matter because that cinnamon bread was so delicious, I'm still thinking about it right now. Tom and Huck's River Blast, not operational because it's October. I bet if it was open, there would be some crazy people that would still do it though, because you get soaked on that ride. Now it's time to see the big giant pumpkins. We had to walk past Owl Hollow named because there are hanging owls. That's why it's called Owl Hollow. The giant barn swing, something you will never see me on because I don't like to throw up. It's not a great feeling. Here are the biggies. All these pumpkins are over a thousand pounds, starting with Gordon Gargantuan. Granddaddy Jack. 1,134. Peter Pumpkin. 1,300 pounds. All these people sitting here were kind of making me mad. Ginormous Ginny. Like, don't sit in front of the pumpkins that people are trying to look at. Marvelous Mary is the number one at 1,432 pounds. Woo! I don't think even Ozempic would help Mary. And now we're going to see another band called Dawson Hollow at the Dockside Theater. We didn't know what to expect, but we were pleasantly surprised. good. I think I should sit on the pumpkin throne. Winter is coming. Then we wanted to use some more of our tasting passport and we got the cowboy stew. This was like eating molten lava of goo. I really enjoyed it. My mom did not. Here's a look at the old entrance to fire in the hole. There's a fence around it. It's boarded up. Hopefully this will become a new cool ride in the future. The American Plunge had a zero minute wait because it's October and you get pretty wet on this drop. Look at this view, it's like a postcard. The best reason to go on wildfire is this view, look at this. Right at sunset, doesn't get much better than this. We tried to go in the school, but it was closed. My mom went to see the school she used to attend back in 1886. And look at this crazy tree. It's at like a 45 degree angle, 
and there's a flower pot like grown into it. Pretty odd. I didn't know what to make of it. Always cool to see the church of the wilder people. If I were to go to church, it might be in that one. This building reminds me of myself after a few cold ones. And I'm talking about Mountain Dew. Not sponsored. The crowd really died down around dinner time. It was a school night, so maybe people had to head on home. But most of the ride times were down to like 0 to 20 minute waits, including the all new fire in the hole. It was only about a 20 minute wait. But we wanted to go on the train. I hadn't been on it in quite a while. I was hoping it wouldn't get robbed this time. But unfortunately, we stumbled upon the robbers. And they did the same old shtick that they had been doing for 95 years. I can't rode all the way out here just to get a look at all of this. <laughs> I know this is a hot take, but we are in desperate need of a new train show. It's, it's just really stale, but I know people love it. We entered Foggy Hollow. It was now open for the evening. It kind of looked like something out of Star Wars. It was real smoky and strange things were hanging down. It wasn't quite dark enough yet, but we went in there anyway. This is the backstage area they have opened specifically for Pumpkins in the City. It was like a dance party. People were getting down. And look at this kid right here. He's going to get down and start doing the worm. Nice. Even Mrs. Pumpkin was dancing. Look at her go. And here comes Mr. Pumpkin. I wonder how they felt when they were getting carved. But basically that's all this is. Just kind of a big dance party area with some games and food. And Mr. and Mrs. Pumpkin. And of course, smoke bubbles. It was finally starting to get a little dark now so we could see the pumpkins are glowing. Low wait times, low crowd, lots of pumpkins, cool scenery. It doesn't get much better than this. The only drawback is we had to drive home this night. This mine has been flooded for 70 years. Will somebody get a pump in there? Here are the pumpkin lights. They look really cool. Luckily this isn't tangled or they would go flying up in the sky. The pumpkin tree. And everything just looks really awesome. But as I said, we have got to get going. We have a long drive back to St. Louis. Not that long. Three and a half hours or so. But we have to, of course, exit through the gift shop, which smelled delicious of kettle corn. But we resisted the urge to buy any. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you didn't, 
and I'm not sure why you stayed on this long, but we took the tram back to the parking lot, walked to the car, and drove back to St. Louis. We had a great day here at Silver Dollar City. May the adventure continue, and we will be back for Christmas. Hopefully. <laughs>